I'm on my phone, and we're gonna be watching Aspen Hotel. Just kidding, hell of a boss. Let's get back into this. I load up the video, ready? So guys, get ready. Get your bum boys for a good one. Alright, now I know business has up. been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here. Moxie, now does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Oh, what about a billboard? We can't, can't afford enough. a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. One that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. Basically, you're in a musical. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir, because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... what? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. Okay, sir. I'm sorry, a commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I am the founder of I Am Team. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or? Oh yeah. Also, the phone I got is a Samsung J7. Well, not Samsung J7. The Samsung A11 Galaxy. That's what I got. A Samsung A11 Galaxy. A11, I'm gonna say. But yeah, if you guys, I'm gonna leave the link down this to below. So I'm gonna just let you know. The name is Busy Pop. Yeah, the name is Busy Pop. Please go to Busy Pop um, channel right down below and I will leave this link or something. Yeah. You an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else. After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here after the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jogger who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living room, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals. We do our job so well because we come straight up from hell. Kill your husband or your wife will even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder of my son. Doctor, he's not responding. Oh, what a stat! I didn't do anything. Damn it. Now I'm losing another one. Clear! Holy shit, it actually worked. How can I... Look at that work. They shot him right through the brain. Appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. What insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? Hello, IMP. 
Adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I... Oh. Then I don't want it! <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, I'm a spider. God damn it. Um, e excuse me. Did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why, why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. Whoever left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why well, would you drink on a work night? Hungover from this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam. Ah! Blitz, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. Sounds a little DTF. Oh, God, it was one time! If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. You what? There's a political campaign causing trouble up on the earth for our of my associates. trying to convince people global warming exists, doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy. I don't know what I was about to say, but it's probably going to be one of those things again. The stuff that got pulled. Pussy pop. Boo here. I think it's gonna be one of those things. Cause I did watch it. It was before. I didn't watch this one. Actually, yes, it's her. Pop is the one who made it. Really, Pop? Give a great shout out to Billy Pop. I don't know what happens here. Probably say some words that I don't put be again. I don't know. Probably say something. Maybe like I want to pick you up and throw you out a window or something like that. Hmm. Can't wait to see. Go to the rest of it. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. Well, 
we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you give me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? dreaming about I was dreaming my parents were being murdered but now I see where that meme come from now from kitty channel I see that now I'd like to go back to that of all the ins in hell it's for him that I fell oh, oh. are you fucking filming us oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I was with my girlfriend and I was thinking sometimes, and I was about to kiss her. Somebody filmed me. I was like, get, get the, get your, get your butt out of here before I slap it. Don't come back ever, ever in my life. Do not come back ever, or else I'll sleep, cut you up with a knife, or slice you down with a chainsaw. Right now, just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. There's something you don't want me seeing. No. You a baby wiener have her? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. Calm down, Mom. You're going to have another panic attack. I am calm. There, there. Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside of work hours, so don't judge me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss. No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this, without being offensive, retarded. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's... What the issue is? There's something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener have her? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate. Calm down, Mox. You're going to have another that panic attack. Bad. I am calm. God, so true, dude. There. Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside of work hours, so don't Wait, yes judge you do. me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss. No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this, without being offensive, retarded. Does immaturely insulting me so better about on his sad, face. single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not! You birds! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am. You guys are all fucking assholes. <laughs> oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want... Why is a kid the freaking cursing? Death, you are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns, even the creepy ones. Hey, now, that's not very... If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to. <laughs> that's your husband? I figured you for a slut, but I didn't know you needed dick that bad. And you... What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Oh, wow. uh, I'm a kid, dog and cat person. Yeah. 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 Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick. I guess there is a god. <laughs> You know, folks, oh, with this correct. company, the, the I really wanted to prove stabbing. that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else okay. can, like killing What you. the? So from us here at the Immediate Murder Professional you see his group, head? we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. You know, even though this kid was a target... You actual asshole schemers. He's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. Mm -hmm. Please, if anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us. She sucks that drawing so bad. 
She sucks at drawing. She sucks. Look at that drawing. It's bad. Missing. Well, yeah. Miss, 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 boy. Miss them, boy. <laughs> but, uh, You're welcome. Oh, what a thrill when the crimson starts to spill. And my Millie goes in for the kill. She takes away my breath. She's the angel of death for me. Oh, Millie. When I hear her victims start to scream In and out of the sack Yes guys, I have a tablet I can't do this with a tablet, but Somebody excited to block me from my duty And the bodies start to fall My girlfriend is Most of the kids My girlfriend bought me the tablet for my birthday, so She don't let me use it Unless I do something fit Let's all do stuff like that. Excuse me? My what now? Why are your faces all red? <laughs> How in the hell do you girls walk in these bloody things? <laughs> don't encourage him, Charlie. Why, my dear Husker, don't you look positively darling? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to smile, dear. We'll see you smiling after I shove my foot up your ass. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, hi. Damn, Al. How do you tits breathe in this thing? I don't think anything's supposed to breathe in this thing. Well, don't we look barely half decent today? Mm? Not bad yourself, Smiles. It's not straight. It's bloody fine. Uh, he's up on the sparkles, hon. <laughs> Oh dear, who turned on this pesky fan? <laughs> Angel! Well, not the worst thing I've ever worn. Huskykins, does this hat make my butt look big? I'm too old for this. <laughs> That's fucking cheating! Who? Us? <laughs> you are cute, but don't push your luck. <laughs> Why? Who's Mama's handsome little man? You are, yes, you are. <laughs> you may call me your majesty. Who's a good boy, Husky? Husky won't fall, keys. Mm? <laughs> 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 oh, my. Are you fucking crying again? <laughs> What's a pretty little thing like you doing in a place like this? Uh, uh, nothing. I feel so uh, pink. At least you don't look like a waiter. Not again, sir. Closer for the week. Oh, my. Let me smash. Ain't you never seen fashionable clothing before, Gramps? Yeah, lady. I can assure you, this counts as neither fashionable nor clothing. Nice threads, toots. What? This whole thing? <laughs> Stop! Five million combat power. Come in, next one. Two million combat power. Um, boss, please. around the hotel lately so we're vacationing on my parents yet cool <laughs> it's huge uh, uh, someone stop this beast <laughs> Shut it, Husker. <laughs> the 
big bad radio demon. A man from Louisiana who can't handle being on a boat? <laughs> what a joke. Just because I'm from New Orleans does not mean I was always on a boat. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel bad, Alistair. Why don't you go lay down? You have your own bedroom you can use. That should help. Hope you feel better soon. Hmm. <laughs> This is torture. This bastard boat stop. Alright, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, and it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone have. What? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking. Are you fucking filming us right now? I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You baby wiener have her? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate! Calm down, Mox. You're gonna have another panic attack! I am calm! Are you there? Mox! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being Retarded. offensive? Retarded. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bird! Hey, now, that's not fair. If I wanted to hear from a spiky jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to! <laughs> that's your husband? Damn it, Foxy! I just caught those eels! When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! Now someone please give me the- Nope. Guys, it is snowing outside as you can clearly see because of sunset. We are about to hit 200,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and join the Pop Fear Gaming Club. All right, guys, the third player wants some coffee, so let's get some coffee. Hi there, could I get a coffee, please? Gotcha. Guys, I just want to take a moment here to say thank you all so freaking much. 207K subscribers? Yo. Not even two months ago, I only had like 30. What is going on? Thanks guys so much. And while you're here, if you like Undertale, I just happened to make a film, you could call it, a, a, a production in Undertale. Uh, you'll just click and find out. Holy crap, guys, what is happening? We literally got a second video trending on YouTube. Oh my God, guys, this is happening all so fast. <laughs> Guys are amazing. If I was talking to you, I would have run out, I would have ripped out your spine and asked you something. If I was next to you, I would have off your spine and asked you something. That's the Roblox chat.
Será mucho a mí porque te puedo pisar con mi pe. Replay the hex mod, we've got a massive update. Drop a like down below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. In today's video, I get adopted by moms. One mom is really super, the other mom is series of tasks and at the end I have to get adopted by one of them. Of the power! That
time to put these criminals in the back of the police car and send them off to jail. We have done a super job. Now we're off to solve more crimes. All right, super kid. All right, so right now we're posted up on the Brookhaven Diner and we're looking out for more crime. My mom thought that the bank robbery was about to happen, so I kind of have my binoculars out, kind of just have my eye on things, trying to see if there's any crime going down, see if there's any wrongdoers once again. The Rockstar store, no one robbing that. The cleaners is closed. Um, <laughs> there's a cop eating a slice of pizza right there. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm looking inside the bank, and I feel like I'm seeing the head of someone in there. Are you guys seeing that, or is it just like me thinking something? I don't know. Super mom, I think I might see something. I have to double check on this again. Well, it's not there anymore, so maybe not. I don't know. I thought I saw something, but maybe not. Eh, never mind. We just have to keep our eyes open, so in case we see any... <gasps> oh my god! Wait! Oh my god! My mom was right! There's a robbery! It's going down right now! I can see it! My mom's like, Oh, I heard that! To the Super Mom Mobile! Let's go, Mom! To the crime scene! Oh my god! Someone really is robbing the bank! My mom was right about her vision! Oh my god, here he is! Ah! Hey! Stop right there! Oh! <laughs> Richmond's like, why does this always happen to me? Poor Richmond. <laughs> Put it down. He's holding a huge bag of cash. You better put that down. Put it down now. Or you get laser eyed. Oh, God. He actually is putting his hands up. My mom is doing it. Yes. <laughs> we got him. That's right, criminal. Great job, super kid. Oh, wait. The cops are literally here. Wee woo, wee woo. Hands up. Oh, my gosh. We really got in there in time. Thank you, super mom. My money is safe. It's time to get him, officer. This is the best. We really just stopped all bank robbery from going down. Idiot, you're under arrest. He's going to county. Bang, bop, boom. Super kid and super mom have saved the streets once again. Let's go. All right, super kid. Time for bed now. Oh. It's about time. I've been using all my superpowers so much, literally. To the Super Mom Mobile! Oh, that was such a long day of fighting crime. Mom's taking me all the way back to bed. I love Super Mom. I love. All right, my Super Mom loves me. It's time to go to sleep. This has been a super long day, and I need to have a super long rest. We're gonna spend one more week with our Super Mom, and then it's off to our evil mom. Z z z z z. Oh, that was a long night of sleeping on some weapons. Today we're spending the week with our evil mom. And that should be... Oh, my gosh. My evil mom is literally shooting a gun. God, stop. Morning, evil kid. Meow. Good morning, evil mom. Meow. <laughs> we have a lot to do today. Robbing the bank. Oh, my God. But first, we need to have breakfast. Oh, that's true. You can never start any day without breakfast. Reese's? Oh my god! Candy for breakfast, cause we're evil. Yeah. I will never say no to Reese's for breakfast. This is my favorite candy. Yeah. Alright, so my mom said, hmm, before we go... Oh boy, what? You're not looking very, very evil. <laughs> Does the tofu merch not look evil? Like <laughs> Time to change into an evil. Costume. All right, once again, time to change into another costume. Push on. Evil Kid has entered the lobby wearing some magma tofu birds. And that looks pretty good. Meow, 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 meow. Perfect. Time to prepare for the bank robbery to the evil mom cycle. Okay, we are off to go and rob the bank and commit some other crimes because that's what evil moms do. Let's see. Oh, literally the evil mom cycle. Let's go. All right, so we're in the Brookhaven Diner right now and I'm not really too sure what we're doing. We just ordered some donuts. My evil mom's just like, yeah, this will work perfect. I'm not really quite sure what we're doing actually. Oh, Snuffle. Hey, Snuffle. Okay, so Adam. Literally, it's the donuts we ordered. Mm. I love this flavor. What is this? Like tropical thunder? Something I don't know. Oh, my what are we doing here, Evil Mom? 
She literally just keeps saying, Meow, meow, meow. Perfect. Just trust me. She literally pulled out a needle. What is that? Pulled out the donut. All right, my mom is injecting something into this donut. I don't know why. Maybe she's trying to give me superpowers or something. I don't really know uh, what we're just doing just yet. She says, <laughs> Got it all. All right, so, so what now? She says, Okay, come. I'm kind of freaked out. We just injected a donut with something really dangerous. See those cops over there? Yeah, I'm seeing them. I don't really know what we're doing with them, though. Go give them the donuts. All right, that's not a problem. I like giving cops donuts. That's just like a good Samaritan thing to do. Hey, cops! I have a present for you guys. Ooh, here's a tropical donut. One for this cop right there, and then one donut for this guy right here, Mr. Kevin Billy. You know, for patrolling around Brookhaven, you know, doing what they're supposed to. Enjoy the donuts, coppers! All right, I'm getting back to my mom now. I don't, I don't really know what I just did. What the heck? Whoa! Meow, meow, meow. What just happened? Oh my god! Oh my god! I think we might have just poisoned those cops! Meow! Meow! Get their outfits! Oh my god, we're taking the cops' outfits! Alright, alright, we just stole the cop outfits from these guys! Oh my god! Literally, that guy's pajama shirt is really funny. Alright, so my mom said, Perfect. Evil kid, you get the car. Let's get out of here. We brought it back to the hideout. My mom's like, Nice. Yeah. Good job, evil kid. Thank you, mama. All right, we're back in the city, and my mom said, We're gonna test how evil you really are, evil kid. We gotta do more evil stuff. Oh, gosh, what does that mean? What are you? We're pulling up to Joe's ice. There's literally a kid here. He's like, mm, yum. Oh, no, what are we doing? <laughs> Take his ice cream. Yeah! Oh, gosh. I'm not gonna feel good about this. He's like, hi there. Joe pushes. Ouch. Give me your ice cream, kid. I'm sorry. Wah! Okay. That's right. Give me the ice cream. Yes! <laughs> Literally, I feel pretty bad about that. That, that is definitely an evil thing to do. He's literally crying. I literally just stole this kid's ice cream. And now I'm feeling pretty evil, if I'm being honest. My evil mom was like, hee hee, nice. Oh! What? Did I do something wrong? Ah! There's a cop here! He's like, what's going on here? They stole my ice cream! Ah! We're getting caught! Oh no, got a jet! The good-for-nothing pigs are here! Let's get out of here, Mom! We can't be with these cops! Oh, God! If we get caught by cops for stealing an ice cream, then everything is canceled! We won't be able to rob the bank! The cops are after us right now! Literally all for this ice cream cone! I didn't think that was that big of a crime to steal an ice cream, but alright, they're coming! up on us mom drive take this my mom just handed me a bomb she literally said you know what to do put it on his car oh god literally have to throw this bomb at the cop oh she literally slammed into him i got this oh see you later cop boom <laughs> oh my god we're gonna peel out of here <laughs> That's with evil mom. She knows what to do. Oh my god. We did it, evil mom. We stole the ice cream. Nice work, evil kid. All right, we're back at the secret hideout. I got my ice cream. And my mom definitely has some big plans because we're still planning to rob the bank. Okay, it's me, Adrian. People choose Sonobello because they can permanently remove your fat in just one visit. My story, it starts two years ago. After having two kids, my body changed a lot. I had all this extra fat in through here, and no matter how much I dieted, I worked out with trainers, I had gym memberships, boot camp memberships. I actually ended up consulting with a private plastic surgeon, but that price tag was way too steep for me. So I ended up calling Sono Bello. And you know what? My body goals were way more affordable than I even thought. I ended up going in on a Friday and I was actually back to work on Monday. As a busy working mom of two, I didn't have the luxury of a long recovery. My story is not unique. You can do this too. So click the link below to start your Sono Bello journey.
think. She was like, nah, that was awesome. Agreed. She said, now just one last thing before we rob the bank. Oh, gosh, what does that mean? We have to hack into the security cameras so the cops can't see us. It looks to me that it's a pretty quiet morning here on Brookhaven, which is really good for us. The vault is empty, no people managing it, and out front is safe. It looks good, evil mom. No cops in sight. She's like, yeah, perfect. Let's get this thing started. Put on your cop outfits. Oh, God, that's what we got them for. Oh. Just follow my lead. All right, all right, right now, we are beginning the bank robbery heist. And we're here in the police car that we took, and we're here in the police outfits that we stole, so we're looking good. She said, all right, just do what I do. Ah, uh, hello there, how can I help you? We're here for the weekly vault inspection. Ah, of course. Could you show us to the vault? Yes, of course, this way. I can't believe this is working. Just being dressed as cops, we're tricking Richmond to let us into the vault. Here it is. Mm, yes, yeah, looking uh, very good and secure. Mm, yep, ding, 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 ding. All right, so Richard just left the room. All right. Let's get in the vault. Oh, yeah. My mom has gotten open the vault just like that. Time to take some money. I'm hoping Richmond didn't just hear that huge explosion downstairs because we're going to have to walk by him. All right, what do we do now, Mom? Follow me. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! There's literally a secret right into our base! Oh my god! Let's go! We just stole money! Let's go! Got it! Back up a little bit. Okay. I don't know why we would be going back into the bank. This sounds a little bit unsafe, uh, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, I'm really nervous. Officers, what was that noise? Oh, don't worry about that. Just routine maintenance. Okay, then. You're all in the clear. Thank you, Rich. Yes, thank you, Rich. <laughs> Back out to the police SUV. Successful heist. Let's go. Let's ditch this man. Oh, yeah, she's smart about that. We do not want to hold on to that. All right, and I put back on my normal clothes, so we are back into our villain gear. <laughs> well, time for bed now. A whole day of stealing money and stealing ice creams takes a lot out of a guy. I gotta go sleep. You did a great job, evil kid. Thank you, mama. I'm so proud. Ah, uh, now we get to spend another week with our evil mom. So I just spent a whole week with both of my moms. On the right side, we have our super mom. And on the left side, we have our evil mom. And now it's time for me to decide which one I want. All right, Super Joe, it's time to decide. Oh, this is going to be hard. Evil mom, we will commit even more crimes, evil kid. So my evil mom really showed me a crazy time. I'm not really too much of an evil person, but she really showed me that we can be criminals on Brookhaven. And I've never done that before. Or Super Mom. We will fight even more crimes, Super Kid. Pick me. And on the right side, we have my Super Mom. And you guys all know she is the superhero of Brookhaven. She was saving people left and right, defeated those criminals, gave me powers. Mm, and I like Super Mom. All the things I love. Alrighty, what's your decision? Well, I think I've come to a conclusion on who I want to pick, but this was a hard one, if I'm being honest. Pick this Superman. was not too easy. I want to go with both of these moms, but I have decided that I am going with Super Mom. I pick you. <laughs> You always want to be doing your best to be the best you you can be. And Super Mom is going to teach me all the life lessons I need to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you tomorrow for another Roblox video. See you later, guys. Wow. Poor. Poor Richard. Eat. to Peloton Meditation. Taking a deep inhale. You are fire, come on! Nature has got you. Nature has break you. Introducing Women in Tech, a DeVry University Scholars Program designed to help you break through barriers, challenge old ways of thinking, and launch your digital career. Take your place in tech. Learn more about the Women in Tech Scholars Program. Drop a like down below, subscribe, and hit that notification.
adoption bell. In today's video, I get adopted by family. One family is homeless. The other family is a billionaire. At the end, I have to decide what family I want to adopt me permanently. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Pick me, families! Pick me! Please! Joe! I need to be adopted! One of the moms, she just went, Oh my god! He's so nice! Mm, his skin looks gold. That is facts. I think it's pretty great. The adoption center person said, Who wants to adopt him? Please, can I adopt him? I will adopt him because he's gold. I will pay extra. He will be in a good family. The one dad just said that he was gonna pay extra for me and the other family said I'd be in a good family. I wonder which one's better. Gold skin is mine. Um, I want to give him a great life. Whoa, 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 wait. Can these people just adopt me already? I want a family. You each can have a turn. Poor family first. Woo! Guys, I'm getting adopted by two different families today. First, we are going with our poor family. We will have so much fun. <laughs> Fine. You each get one week. Oh my god, this is going to be so fun. I can't wait. So I'm first getting adopted by the poor family, and they said they just wanted me to have a good life. So this should be a really fun week. Let's do this. That was a hard night's sleep. Literally slept on the concrete, on the ground. Kind of hurt my neck. I'm here with my poor family, and uh, we're about to begin the day. Good morning, family. Are you ready? Ready for what, Papa? We are finding a new home. Oh! Finally! Literally, we don't have to sleep on the concrete anymore. That is going to help my neck so bad. I have really bad arthritis. All right, I'm tired of being homeless. But first... Oh, no. What is my mom going to say? Joe, you look a bit too fancy. You need some bad clothes, like us. Why does no one want me to wear my tofu merch? Everyone always tells me to change it. And they literally want me to put on rags. But, all right, fine. I mean, I got to work with my family. Washa! Now Tofu is looking good. Wow, wow, wow. You look great. All right, but now it's time for us to go and find our new home. And I'm excited. But first, we're going to go get food. Oh, my gosh. Thank God. And Dad is going to look for a new house. The last thing I ate was three corn dogs, all right? And that was like three days ago. So I really need some more food. I'm so excited. I'm going to go with my mom to get some food. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking through the dumpster right now for food. Ah. What can we find? Ah, it's so dark in here, too. We should have brought a dumpster light or something so we could see. Literally, my mom said, ooh, look at this. I was about to say the same thing. Mom, I found a burger. She said she found a waffle. Literally, we're eating for free right now. Literally, this burger's got some hairs on it. But that's all right. I have hairs, too, so, you know, it's all fair. Uh, she said, Nice! That was pretty fun! Honestly, same. I kind of like dumpster diving. You can find any kind of treasure in there. Kind of cool. I love my mama. I love and I love this waffle. Okay, let's go see if someone can help us with money. Oh? We're going to ask people for money, I guess. That sounds kind of awesome. I want to get a PS4 so bad. So, I mean, if someone wants to donate some money for a PS4, that'd be awesome. Okay, grab your sign. We got our signs already, and now we're going to see if we can get some people <laughs> to give us some money. I'm asking for a PS4. My mom is asking for some money. Let's go ahead and see if we can get any of it. Ooh, I like yours. Looks great. Oh, my God. Hi, homeless. Oh my god, finally, a guy in a Ferrari. This is gonna be sick. I think we're gonna make some money. Hello. Can you help us with money? Oh my god, he's got a huge stack of cash. Oh my god, we're gonna be able to go eat at like McDonald's. Maybe even get like a steak dinner or something. He's got so much money right there. Oh, you want money? Yeah, can you read, bro? You can't have it. What? This guy, he's just, he's just laughing on us now. Mama, what? Dude, he's making my mom sad. Fine, I'll put down my sign. You want a PS4? Yes. Dude, he has a PS4? Okay, if he's not gonna give us money, then he might as well just give us that. Well, you can't have one. What the heck? He's just baiting us. You're a terrible person. I'm mad at you. <laughs> this guy is such a jerk. Jerk? Get out of here! For sure. Wasting my time anyway. Stupid little jerk. He wasn't very nice. I know, Mama. <laughs> he came here to make fun of us. 
I'm not even a bad kid. My mom is such a good mom. She said, that's okay, though. We're still happy. And you know that's facts. Let's go to the park. I'm so down. Literally, I love going to the park. I've only been like one time before, so I don't really get to go too often. But my mom is taking me. Let's go. <laughs> Woo. Oh, oh, God, mom. Slow down. Mom, stop. Literally, I'm going to get sick. Oh, gosh. Oh. All those burgers that I hate out of the trash were coming up all the wrong tubes. I did not like that. Woo! That was so much fun! I know, Mom! Literally, I barely ever get to swing. No one ever pushes me or lets me ride on their back. Wait, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Who the heck is this guy? Um, y'all can't be here! What? Why not? Oh, uh, cause you're homeless? What? That's not a real- we're just here on the swings! We're not doing anything! What?! Uh, yeah, you gotta leave. That's not very nice. Okay, Joe, let's go. What?! I literally just wanted to swing! How is this illegal for me to just want to be here on the swing? Huh. <sighs> That's just the poor family life. Everything will be okay. We'll find a new home. I forgot our dad was looking for a home. It's time we should go meet up with him. <laughs> Yay! Okay, great. We got our stuff. Literally. That was kind of a while. Let's meet dad. All right. You know, apparently... Oh, he's put it right here. Hello, family! I found our new home! Woo! Great! Let's go! Look at this, we're such a family, man! I love this! After being in a daycare for so many months, it's just so nice to be able to walk around with a family that loves me. Alright, but anyway, it looks like this might be the home that he found for us. It looks Aww. beautiful! Here she is! She's a little bit of a fixer-upper. She has a few flaws, but she's beautiful! Alright, it's time to go in and see what's going on in here! Literally, we were sleeping on the cement last night. This is so nice. Ah, wow. There's not like lights or anything, so it's kind of hard to see in here. But at least we got a roof over our head. It's warmer than out in the middle of the dark. And plus, I can sleep on this, on this, whatever this is. And it'll just not hurt my neck. I love it, Mama and Papa. Yay. I'm so glad, son. Ruffles hair. <laughs> It's starting to get a little bit dark out. I'm kind of tired. We've been doing stuff all day. Uh, she said... Okay, I have a surprise before bed. Oh? Yeah, I'm kind of a dad. Oh? I found it in the dumpster. Reese's! That is my all-time favorite candy! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! I love Reese's so much! This is the best end to this day. I'm having the best time with my poor family. We are gonna go to sleep now and we'll spend one more week with them before we hop on to the rich family. Good night, Mama and Papa. Ugh. Oh, this king-sized bed in the rich family's home is so nice. I just slept for like five hours. I never get that much sleep. Oh, wait, there's someone here. He says, good morning, sir. It's Snuffle. It's time to take you downstairs. All right, I'm not actually sure what we're going to be doing today with my rich family, but here they are. I'm so excited. My dad was like, oh, yes, golden skin. Why does he call me that? I mean, like, I know I'm yellow, but, like, my name's Joe. I don't know. He's like, ah, oh, disgusting. What? I thought he just said I looked good. What are those peasant rags? Oh, okay. Well, I'm still wearing this stuff for my poor family. I, I didn't think he was going to dislike it. I mean, it's just clothes. Put on gold clothes. We need you gold. I just want on gold clothes to make my dad happy. All right, let's see what that is. Wash -a! I kind of like my new outfit, actually. <laughs> I'm shining like a gold bar. Okay, good. Uber helicopter should be here soon. Oh, wait. Literally, my dad's running outside. An Uber helicopter's about to show up? Oh, my gosh. Literally, my dad wasn't kidding. There's a helicopter coming. Ugh. Why is my dad upset? We're literally getting a helicopter. Like, what? This thing takes so long. Oh my god. Here you are, sir. You're steak. Peasants, you're too 
gentlemen, it's late. I'm sorry, it's late. I'm, I'm so sorry. Why is my dad getting on this guy's case? He was two minutes late. He literally just brought him food through a helicopter. Like, dude, give me my food. Now get out of here, peasant. Oh my god. I feel so bad for that pilot, man. He did a good job. He brought the food. But my dad's like... Oof, I'm starving. Uh-huh. My mom really has not said a single word to me this entire time. Hi, mama. Mm-hmm. Well, all right, I tried. Oh, my God. My dad's giving me a huge plate of T-bone steak. Literally, I'm starving. So that's so good. So, Dad, what are we doing today? You know, the week with the poor family, we did so much stuff. And I'd like to think that we're going to do some good stuff with them. Today we're going to our vacation home. Oh my god. I'm so excited! We should get going, actually. The private jet is ready. What? I've never flown on a private jet in my life. Uh, Snuffle! Get out bags, peasant! Oh, come on. He's been mean to Snuffle, though. I love Snuffle. I've helped Snuffle out with tons of stuff. Yes, sir. Of course. Dad? Can I have a hug? I haven't had a hug all day, and I'd really like one. Huh? Why did he react like that? I literally just wanted a hug. Get away from me! Why is he running away? I just want a hug. No affection. Dad! All right. Fine, I won't give him a hug. Jeez. No affection until you're older. How does that make any sense? I just want a hug. Why do I have to wait? Well, fine. Right now, we're pulling up to the airport, literally to get on a private jet. This has never happened to me before. I'm so excited. My dad's like, here we are. Me, my mama, and my dad. The wait should be, come with me. He's literally carrying my mom in. <laughs> All right. She doesn't like to walk. Oh, I feel that energy really hard, literally. All right, well, we have to go into the private jet now. Dad. Ah! What? Oh, my God! Literally, what is he? Is he freaking out over this guy? So ugly! Disgusting! Please, please! What is my dad doing? It's just a homeless guy. I don't know why he's freaking out. What? Ah! Literally! Homeless getaway. What the heck? Get him out of here! He's not gonna do that. He's not doing anything. He's just sitting there. I own the police. They're on my payroll. Hurry, please! My eyes! Literally, that homeless guy just got taken into the homeless getaway. I hope that's something good. Literally, that homeless guy is just, he's just literally gonna be disappearing in a van. All right, well, uh, okay, we're good now. Phew. I don't know if we're good. That freaked me out, but all right. I guess it's time to go to our vacation home now. My dad is literally carrying my mom all the way into the airport. Wow. We're in the private jet. I've never been on one of these. This is so cool. Mm, seems all right. This looks amazing. I don't know what kind of flights my dad's been on. Here is our luxurious living quarters. Mm, very luxurious indeed. Literally, we got some tables. It's kind of nice. Uh, they're running over here without me. All right, let's see. Um, and here is your supreme eating area. Wow, this is cool. Honestly, I wish I invited like some friends or something. There's so much room on this jet. Literally, this will work fine. My dad is just throwing money around. Like, I know he's super rich. He doesn't need to flex on me like this. I'm kind of curious. How does my dad have so much money? Literally, Dad, what do you do? Huh? What do you mean? Like, for a job. What's a job? Like, uh, a place where you work? I, I, <laughs> why do I have to explain this to my dad? What? Ah, uh, those are for peasants. Okay, having a job is not for peasants. I'm pretty sure, like, everyone's gotta have a job. I spit patooey. My dad really just, like, didn't answer at all what that is. He just said he spits and then he just said patooey. All right, um, but he's asking, when are we gonna be there? Hurry, it's up, peasant. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna lay down in a chair and relax until we make it to our vacation home. <sighs> the good life. We just landed and we're waiting for our limo to come and pick us up. We're just sitting on the runway. My dad's like, where is Snuffle? He's late. Ah! Oh, wait. Literally, I think that's him right there. Literally. Finally! Oh, my God. Literally, Snuffle's here in a limo. This is sick. Snuffle! What took you so long? Sorry, sir. I had to walk across the country. Oh my God. Poor Snuffle. Unacceptable. One minute late. Okay, my dad really gets mad when they're even, like, one or two minutes late. Like, oh, my gosh. I feel really bad for Snuffle. But now we're on our way to the vacation home. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, wow. 
This is a real, real nice place. Oh my god. This is so exciting. It's a big house. Welcome home, family. Thank you, Snuffle. Snuffle, you're fired. What? But so I I I I feel so bad for Snuffle. I, I don't really feel like he did anything wrong there, but my dad just fired him. Um, all right. All right, cool, skin. Can you seriously please stop calling me that? Time for bed. Mm, finally, here's the TV. Oh, okay. It's a big TV. Oh, my God. And we literally have everything you could want. Do you have a PS4? Hmm, PS4 is for peasants. What? We have a PS5. What? I've never played that or heard of it. I have to try this. Oh, my God. Guys, now I get to kick back in my new vacation home, and I get to be here for a week, and I'm going to be playing so much PS5. Looks like they have the game floating kitties, and I've always wanted to play this. This should be a super fun week. Ah, this is the best. However, though, my family really didn't pay that much attention to me. Hmm, that's not good. Look at you, no braces, all the internet you can handle. I wasn't so lucky. Invis is not your parents' brain. Invis is predictable, less painful, more comfortable. Invisalign. I had a great time with both of my families. They both have amazing qualities to them. On the left side, we have the rich family, and on the right side, we have the poor family. And now it's time for me to decide. I Sweet little Joe, it's time to decide. Oh, rich family. On the left, the rich family really did show me a completely different life. They showed me their private jets, their billions of dollars, and they also showed me what it's like to have a family. And then he said, I'm going to make money off your gold skin, not going to lie. That's just a classic dad thing to say, you know, prioritizing the money. You know, he, he still probably loves me. Or poor family. And on the right side, we have the poor family, and they really love me. They were showing me so much care, so much attention, and she even says, we don't have much, but we'll give you everything. My poor family really was trying to give me the most that they could, and I really appreciate that. Okay, what's your decision? Ah! Guys, I've made my decision, and this one, I think, was a no-brainer. I think everyone is gonna know who I'm gonna choose, but this was a little bit hard. They were both showing me a life that I'd never had before. But I've decided that I'm going to choose the poor family. Hey! Money is not everything, and you don't need to have money to have a good life. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I'm going to go live with my poor family and live the best life ever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another role play. See you later, guys. Drop a like down below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. In today's Roblox video, I get adopted by a controlling mom or a crazy mom. At the end, I have to choose which mom I want to adopt me. This is going to be a hard choice. Adopt me, moms! Adopt me! I need a mom! Every other baby in the adoption center has been adopted except me. Moms! Please. But then this mom's like, hey, yes, he'll do. And this mom's like, <laughs> super adorbs. It sounds like they both want to adopt me. I might be getting a mom today. This is our last baby. I told you, I'm literally the last one here. Who wants him? He will be mine. I will adopt him. Oh my god. They want to adopt me, yes. Okay, they're starting to get a little bit mad at each other. They're like, no, hey, don't think Oh, he'll be mine. <laughs> Guys, these bombs are kind of freaking me out. Hold on there. The daycare operator is, is splitting them up. They're literally about to fight. You each can get one week. Oh, my God. Crazy mom goes first. I'm going to get adopted by a crazy mom. Huh? Yay. <laughs> Yes! Oh gosh, I'm kind of worried for this one actually. Well now I am being adopted by the crazy mom and I'm so excited to spend a week with her and see what kind of adventures we'll have. I cannot wait. <laughs> This is such a peaceful night of sleep. Oh, I barely ever get good sleep. I'm always being interrupted. People always wanting things for me. Oh, ah!
God! Ah! God! Ah! My mom! Wake up, wake up, wake up! What is going on? Food time! Oh, guys, you could have just said that. You literally just jumped on me, almost broke my clerics. What is for Brecky, mother? Um, but first. I didn't, I didn't say anything, I just asked what Brecky was. You need to dress up. I'm already wearing good clothes. I'm wearing the best clothes. Literally, Team Tofu merch. As a banana? Because you're yellow. Mom, what? You have to be a banana. Mom, I don't want to be a banana. Banana! Hey, fine! Literally, you have got to be kidding me. Perfect. You look better now. Mom! <laughs> I don't think I look better. I feel like I look worse, but okay. She's like, okay, food time. She's giving me milk. What? Milk. You can only eat milk. You can't even eat milk. You drink milk. What the? Wait. My mom is eating a banana. Why'd she have me dress up as a banana if I can't even eat bananas? Mmm, tasty. This banana. <laughs> I don't know what my mom has planned for our day, but this breakfast has been crazy. She's like, okay, you know what? Let's play tag. That sounds so fun. I'm down. Wow, finally a normal activity. Start running. Ah! She's got an axe. Ah! What the heck is going on? My mom started chasing me with an axe. Literally, I'm hiding in the bathroom right now. Oh my God, I'm dressed as a banana. Ah! Here's mommy. Ah! I'm done! I, I'm not playing! Uh, 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 uh. Mom, enough! She's like, oh! Talks to self. No, he's a good boy. He's a very good boy. No chase. No chase. The heck is going on with my mom right now? She's literally just like being weird. All right, she's like, dang. Well, she's just done with that. She was literally just chasing me with an axe. Well, let's play hippos. That sounds way more fun. Man, this mom is crazy. What is going on? All right. Blue Bob. I missed him. Missed him too much. I love this hippo like my own son. Hmm. I think Blue Bob needs his shot. I would not be surprised. He did not get the COVID vaccine. He was really not down for it, but I really think he needs it. He's been looking really sick. Okay, inject him. Get over here, Blue Bob! <laughs> oh my god, this is feeling much more like a serious thing now. Stabs! What the? It's literally it's just, a, it's just a shot. He's, it's, he can be more careful. Be careful. Blue Bob is the almighty god. Don't make him mad. She literally says, Stabs harder! <laughs> Okay, I'm not letting Blue Bob near my crazy mom, okay? Blue Bob needs protection. Okay, I have a surprise. Okay. Hmm. I'm a little bit worried what my mom's surprise might be, considering she first just chased me around the house with an axe, tried to kill my hippo, and she dressed me up in a banana suit. So, I don't really know what a surprise for my mom is going to be. Get in. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Mom! Oops. <laughs> She literally just drove us off a cliff with one minute of being Mom! Mom, stop flipping the car! Literally, I am gonna break my leg or like my head or something. She's like, no, you stop flipping out. My mom is freaking me out. All right, the drive has kind of slowed down a little bit. It was kind of going crazy, but my mom got it under control. I think we're going for like ice cream or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to even see out of the window. It's really, really hard to see out of this, actually. I'm, I'm the size of a banana, so it's not too easy. Let me see. Where, oh my god! Mom! What are we doing up here? Mom! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> no! Literally! Um, I think my mom broke the car. Oh, dang. Car no go no more. Mom, what the heck? Well, <laughs> time for pizza! The first normal thing to come out of my mom's mouth this entire day. Okay, I am very down to get pizza. Blue Bob, take us home. Finally! The pizza's here! I'm so excited! My mom said, Oh, goody, the pizza! Let's eat! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Literally! The pizza man's like, here's your pizza! <laughs> He, he literally just came in. My mom invited him in. What the heck? Pizza man, dish out that pizza. I want one pepperoni, and I want one with olive on it. All right? I love those flavors. Time to eat. What the? She's dancing on the pizza. We need to wolf. Uh, why? Because we're hungry like the wolves. <laughs> what? This makes no sense. Come here and wolf. Oh, my God. What the heck? Fine. <laughs> What is happening right now? <laughs> I literally don't even know what's going on. Well, this is crazy. I'm out of here. Literally, 
Mom, we made the pizza guy leave. We didn't, I didn't even get to eat anything. Well, we can have milk for dinner. Oh my gosh, fine, I'll have milk again. I'm the milk banana boy. Time for bed, go to sleep, or we'll play tag. Oh my god, fine, fine. I do not want to play tag again. I'm going to sleep one week with my crazy mom. I'm worried. Time to go to sleep, though. Um... Whatever I catch here, it actually comes and delivers to the house. I don't, I don't even, like, go anywhere and get... Such a good night's rest. Oh, that week with Crazy Mom was so stressful. Now I just get to relax, stare out my window. Ah. Ay, ay, ay. Get up, get up, get up, get up! What the heck? What? This is my controlling mom. I'm spending the week with her. She just said, time to start the day. Time for food. It's 8.30 a.m., okay? I'm a baby. I need to sleep. Follow me. Don't get out of line. All right, Mom. What do you want from me? Breakfast. Water and chicken. Oh, wow. This actually looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Blairs. Drenches in water? Mom, no. What the heck? I didn't know that's what she meant by water, water and chicken. I thought she meant water with my drink. What the heck? Ew. That was all slimy. Ew. Eat up. Oh, my God. Fine. Ooh. I just ate, like, five chicken legs. Yard time! Yard! Yard time! Now! Get up and get out! I'm so stressed out. My mom is controlling the heck out of me right now. All right, okay, maybe I'm being too dramatic. All right, she's just trying to get me to go outside and exercise or something. Jumping jacks! Okay, okay, I can do some jumping jacks. I got you, mama! Jump! Oh my god! This is so hard! It's so hard to make her happy, man! Oh my god! Keep jumping! Mom, I'm gonna puke up all those chicken legs! Uh, okay, rest. Good work. Well, she's just trying to make me throw up. Oh my god. Alright, my mom wants to take me. Hopefully she's just gonna bring me to bed. That was a long adventure. Wait, what the heck? She brought me the PC. Oh my god, why is she trying to give me a book? What? Time for brain work. Oh my god, I just threw up like 20 chicken legs. Oh my god. Homework time! Job search? What the heck? I'm like five! I don't need to be looking for a job! You gotta get a job! Homework! I'm literally five years old. I don't even think anyone would hire me. Oh my god, it's been like an hour and a half. I've literally been reading page after page. I don't really feel like I'm learning anything. I'm just looking through the classifieds in the paper. I don't know how that's helpful to me, but my mom told me to look into it. She said, okay, quiz time. Quiz on what? Question one. Who was not accepted into the FBI? Uh, my mom literally gave me this FBI shirt. Is she talking about herself? You? Correct! I actually got a question right! Oh my god! But it said I was too controlling. My mom was too controlling for the FBI? Can you believe that? Yeah, that's crazy. Question two. What's the best food to grow stronger? Um, you need proteins, you need carbs, and you need fats. Chick-fil-A. Correct! What? I you got that! Question three. Am I stronger than a gorilla? I'm... No. That's not possible. Gorillas can literally lift cars. Correct! What? I... I actually did good! Gorillas are OP as heck. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so awesome! Whoa. I actually got these things right! My mom's like, as a reward. Oh my god, what are we gonna get? I can't believe I got this all right. You get to mop the floor. Um, how is that a prize? Uh, do I have to? I mean, as Peter Quiz, maybe she'll just let me not do it. Hey! What? Don't back talk me. Oh my god. Fine. Go mop. My mom is so controlling. Literally, I did Peter Quiz, and now she just wanted me to go and mop the floor. It's like, it's just so annoying. Ah, God dang it. My mom is just making me mock the floor. Literally, someone at the door. Literally, who is that? My mom ordered pizza? I felt like this whole time she's just been like super controlling and kind of mean. And now she's literally coming through with pizza. Put it on the table. Oh my God, yes. I'm so excited. Here you go. Oh, perfect. Give me a slice, pizza man. Oh my gosh, finally. Hey, don't touch that. 
What? Nine for you! Mom, what do you mean? It's an extra extra large pizza! You get chicken and water! I literally had that for breakfast and lunch. Wow, that's so controlling and mean. Dude, even the pizza man agrees! Yikes! Out! Man, all I wanted was a slice of pizza, man. I've been doing all the stuff my controlling mom has wanted. None of weird extra... Making money with DoorDash is super easy. So recently, I've been trying to figure out a way to make a little extra money. And I'm nervous. I have to pick a mom. And uh, this was a really interesting couple of weeks. I'm not going to lie. All righty, little Joe. Who do you choose? Over here, we have controlling mom. Hey, you better pick me. I'll make your life amazing. That, that sounds like, a, like she's demanding me to. I mean, like, I had a decently good time with my controlling mom. You know, I'm already kind of a positive person, so a lot of things don't really get to me too much. But, you know, she was really trying to, I guess, control the situation and make sure I was safe and stuff like that, which is always nice. But then over here, we have my crazy mom. My crazy mom was definitely crazy, but she was fun. <laughs> Let's even have more fun. All righty, time to decide. This is a hard decision to make. I am the last baby in the daycare, and these are the only moms who will adopt me. I have to choose one. Pick me or else. Oh, God, I'm scared. Go with me. Ah. All right. I've come to the decision of what I'm going to do, and I'm going to make a run for it. I'm not going to get adopted by either of those moms. They're terrifying. I don't want a controlling mom, and I don't want a crazy mom. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like down below and subscribe, and I'll be back for another role play. Oh my gosh. I'm just sitting here on the side of the street alone. Cold, freezing. All I have to my name are these traffic cones and these bales of water that I collected from the rain. I got this sign hoping that if people who were walking by here on Brookhaven saw me, they would come up and adopt me. I have been a homeless child for too long. I just want a rich parent so bad. So that way I don't have to live out here on the side of the streets. Oh, what the heck? It's a, it's, it's a woman. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. You poor child. What are you doing out here? I live here. I have no home. Well, you do now. What? You're adopting me? Yes. Let's go! Guys, I just got adopted by a mother, and her name is Mama Bear. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I'm so excited because I've lived on the street my entire life. Let's get in the car and go home to meet Papa. Be sure to use Starco Tofu in the Robux shop if you want to help support me. And be sure to check out the new Tofi at Tofu.com. He's really cool and there's a very limited amount of them left, so go check it out. I've been driving through the cold, dark night with my mother, Mama Bear, and I think we're actually about to arrive home soon because we've been driving for a long time. So, um, is this it? Papa Bear. <laughs> this has got to be it. Is this our home? Papa Bear 365. Ooh, all right. This is my new family. This is our new son. Hello, Papa Bear. Wow, he's so tiny. <laughs> Don't roast me. Dad. So I'm starting to think that my family might be bears, and that might explain why my dad... Whoa, don't disrespect me! Whoa! I'm sorry! I think my, my dad might not like that I'm tiny, because they're bears, and bears are huge! So I think I just got adopted by some bears here. Honestly, I didn't think this was gonna go this way. Let's go inside. All right, I'm gonna do an emote so that way they know I'm happy. I'm just dancing. I'm having a great day. I just got adopted by some parents. Let's go. Oh my God. This house is nice. I should stop dancing so they don't think I'm crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I got here during Christmas time. Maybe my parents will get me some Christmas presents. That would be the coolest thing. I just got done making dinner. I was hunting. Oh my God. He really hunted for our food? You hunted for our food? I mean, like, he could have really just gone down to, like, you know, the, the grocery store or something, but he actually physically went out and hunted. What are we eating, then? I don't know if I want to, like, eat something that my bear father literally just went and caught. Father, if you caught salmon, I will have a bite. <laughs> 
No. You didn't catch salmon. Oh, boy. We're having steaks. Oh, wow. This went and caught a cow? Wow, delicious. Oh, my gosh. It actually does look very delicious. Wow, two huge drumsticks. Don't mind if I do. I am so excited to eat this. I was going to eat bugs in scraps for dinner. And now I'm literally eating uh, like a turkey Thanksgiving dinner. This looks so delicious. Cannot believe I'm eating this right now. I love being adopted by bears. Can I be excused? I'm tired. I literally just ate like 62 drumsticks and I think I'm going to explode. So I need to be excused from the table or I might die. No, you need to sleep right now. Oh, I don't. Oh my gosh. I don't want to go to bed yet. Come on. Why do I look like I'm dead? This size is just right. Honestly, it looks a little big for me. I don't know about that. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, now I guess it's my time to go to bed. Thank you so much, Mama Bear. Mama Bear, I like you. I want to live here forever. You're welcome, new son. Want me to read a story? Sure. It's called Three Little Bears. This is a story from my mother, Mama Bear, and one new son. All right. Well, hmm. Sounds interesting. There were three bears. One dad, one mama, and one baby bear. And one new son, okay? Why do why does this feel like somewhat relevant? I don't know. They all lived together and then lived happy forever. Oh, that rhyme. Is that literally the whole story? Okay, you sleep now. <laughs> Alright, I had too much steak anyway. It's time for me to go to bed, man. I can't be doing this all day. But now that my mom has left the room. I'm actually gonna wake up real quick and just take a quick look around my room. Like, look at this. This is so cool. I've never had a bathroom. I've always lived on the street. I've never owned a shower like this. Like, what? I'm so tiny, I can't even turn on the water. That's all right, though. That's kind of cool. Oh my God, I'm too tiny, I can't even use the mirror either, but it's so cool. I just love my new lifestyle here. I would never want to trade this for anything. It's so much better than living out in the cold. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess it's time I should go to bed a little bit. I've been up for like 29 hours. Literally, I haven't gotten any sleep, so I guess I'll go to sleep for a little bit, and we'll see our parents in the morning. Oh, man. That was a long night. I literally had hopped in my parents' bed because it was literally just like too quiet in mine. You know, I thought there's some demons. So, uh, Mama Bear said, Mama Bear is out to work. I was kind of wondering where she had gone. Go get some food downstairs. Yeah, I'm down. I'm gonna be chilling. Oh, Mama Bear's not getting out of bed. I'm not moving for anything. What the heck? I'm like two inches tall. I can literally barely reach the fridge. That's why I'm in charge. I'm being bullied by my bear father. All right, fine. I'll go downstairs. No, no worries for me. Fine. All right, I'm gonna go downstairs and make myself a delicious cereal breakfast. The thing is, it's 2.40 p.m., dude. I feel like my dad should be waking up, but maybe there'll be something good in the fridge for me to make. I'm like, let's see what there is. <laughs> There's a huge Reese's candy bar. Maybe I should just eat that for breakfast. Did someone just ring my doorbell? This is like, this is my new house, so I don't really know who to expect would be here. But it's, it's probably Mama Bear, I guess, I think about it. Hello? Oh, oh my god! It's a guy with a gun! Hi! Oh, hello. This person's not as crazy as I thought. Why do they have a gun? I'm on the lookout. Oh god, what the heck? Who's this guy? What, are, what is he looking for? I smelled some. What the heck did he smell? You smell my breakfast? Something bear-like. What? What do you mean? Bear-like? A family of bears attacked a house the other day. Oh gosh. And I'm trying to find them. Oh my gosh. I'm just a guy. I don't know anything about bears. Guys, I don't know what's going on here, but this guy does not seem like he'd be nice to my parents if he met them. I'm not trying to snitch. My parents do own this house, but He's, he's had a family bears attacked a house the other day. A little bit worried. Our parents home? Uh, uh, no, not right now. My mom's at work. Oh my gosh, he's getting so close to me with this shotgun. Okay then, son. Oh my gosh, what? If you smell anything around these parts, give me a holler. Oh, okay, I thought he was gonna shoot me. Okay, no problem, just say. Low key, three times. I actually just looked in the chat. His name is actually Hunter Loki. And I appear. Okie Loki. Okie Loki. <laughs> Loki rides away on his horse. 
It's literally nighttime. I was having that conversation all day. Oh my gosh, guys, that is terrible news. I think the parents that just adopted me might have taken out a family to get this house. Wait a minute. Now that I think about it, the food that we were eating last night tasted a little bit weird. Oh my gosh, I really hope that's not what I think it was. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's my dad. He woke up. He was sleeping literally all day, too. You slept long? Hell, baby bear. Oh, that's terrifying. Hello. Oh, oh, okay. That was just a typo. Oh, okay. That scared me. Okay, I think I'm gonna tell him, like, I think I need to go to bed. I'm, like, terrified. I just want to get away from him. So I don't know what I need to do. I'm just gonna make up some kind of excuse to get away from him. I think I need to go to bed. He's saying, okay, baby bear. Oh, gosh. What's happening? I have a gift for you. Oh. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say I need to go to bed just yet. Oh, okay, one gift. Oh my gosh, I forgot it's Christmas time. I cannot wait. What is in that? Oh my gosh, he gave me a huge gift. I actually don't know what to expect. What is this? Here you go. Join my group. What? What group? I never had someone who's adopted me told me to like tell them to join their group he said it's called the three bears there's no way that's real okay bet <laughs> check this out i'm on his profile and it's real the three bears i literally see it and uh he has only a couple members <laughs> literally my mother is one of the other members all right i'm gonna join it okay second this is exciting actually what Merry Bear Christmas! Like, what? Check your Robux. So I have 1662968. Okay, now I have 1663468. How much did he just give me? I think he gave me like 500 Robux. I literally, I don't even know how much he really gave me. I'm more just really surprised that this father really gave me Robux. <laughs> I, like, thank you, Bear. Bear Dad. Okay, now back to hibernating. He woke up from hibernation just to give me Robux. Wait, my dad was like, oh, wait, what? Go find your mom. I was worrying about my mom a little bit. It's been like two days wondering where she's been at. Okay, she should be back. I don't know where my mom works. Like, I, dad, I got adopted two days ago. Like, I haven't done much in the city. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go find my mom in the city. I'm a little bit worried about her, too. And I kind of want to share with her all this cool Robux that I just got from Papa Bear. So let's hop out there. I do have to a little bit watch out because I'm now remembering again. We just met a hunter who's looking for bears. I don't really want to snitch on my parents right now, but I don't know how I feel. Let's go find my mom. See what we'll have to do. So my mother works in the city over here at the bank, and I'm really worried. She hasn't been here in days, so I don't know where she's at, but let's go ahead and... S oh, she actually is just here in the bank. Mother! She's just literally looking at the screen. Oh, hi. She probably said, oh, hi, baby bear. <laughs> we got worried. It's been three days. I was in the zone. Oh, I feel that too, actually. Sometimes when you're just working so hard, you just don't want to leave. I've been printing a lot of money. Mom, that's illegal. <laughs> you trying to come home? Okay, I guess so. I'm trying to get my mom to stop committing illegal activities. Jeez, I didn't eat, eat for three days. Honestly, same. There's been no one to like cook anything. Honestly, same. Let's go home. I had Reese's for breakfast. Literally, I had, oh my God, my mom. It's, oh my god! Mom! Okay, I'm really figuring out the situation now. Oh my god, it's the hunter. Hunter! No! Is my mom okay? Mom? Don't worry, little one. She was good. Literally, where the heck did this guy just come from? How did he smell out my mom? I hate you. You're, 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 you're laughing about this. Dang bears. That's what you get for the family. I guess I keep forgetting this. My family are bears. They ate a family. Oh, I can't even be mad at him. Mom, no. Guys, it's so hard to be adopted by good parents out here. My mom was literally a bear and now she's dead. All right, son, get in my van. Why did she have to eat that entire family? Now I have to go with this guy. And this guy's not even cool. His name's just Loki. And honestly, I'm kind of creeped out by him more than anything. 
He said, get in my van, which you should literally never do, so I'm kind of creeped out. He 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 he. Uh. I mean, he did save me from that bear, and she could have been trying to, like, eat me in the end, so I'm not too sure. He said he's taking me somewhere safe. Okay, I guess I shouldn't be complaining. What is wrong with this guy? Why does he keep laughing? What the heck? He literally took me to the middle of nowhere. All right, get out. Why is he pulling the gun out? What the heck? Why would he want to be killing me? <laughs> I'm so confused. I thought he was just saving me. It was me the whole time. I hurt that family. Wait, my bear family didn't even do anything and blamed it on the bears. What? You're the only witness. You shot my mom. Goodbye. No. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to die. I don't want to die. Please, Hunter, please don't. What the? It's my dad. Ah! Oh, my my dad just killed the hunter. <laughs> what the heck? He looks like a beast. Oh my god. I can't believe that. He came in and just killed the hunter right in front of me. Okay, I think we got him good. Thank you, dad. I thought it was over. He got mom. <laughs> I hate this Hello Kitty wearing man. <laughs> no. She'll be okay. What? I brought her to the hospital. What? Let's go. No way. She didn't even die? St. Luke's Hospital. Interesting. My father, he's running in desperately. Oh my God. It's my mom. Oh, she doesn't look very, very safe. He says, oh my gosh. Mom, she was shot. I'm so glad you're alive. Me too. I'm so glad you're alive. Don't worry. We got him. That's good. Oh, Papa Bear and Mama Bear, I love you guys. I appreciate this family. I just want to give a hug to my parents. I love them. Son, I have some bad news. What bad news? The doctors won't let us keep you. Because we're bears. What? I don't know if we ever told you that. But that, 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 we're bears. But like, after, after all this? We're bears. Okay, my parents were bears. Okay, I respect. I'll miss my bear family, though. I hope my bear mother returns to good health. We'll miss you so much. Goodbye, bear family. <laughs> I ran to the x-ray machine. <laughs> well, what a crazy day on Brookhaven. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. See you later, guys. Wait, wait. Right now I'm on my way back home. That's what it pulled me out.
Thank <laughs> you. 
gonna see him be spooky. Three, two, one, go! <laughs>
to join the battle. Three, two, one, go. Girl, a minute. I did better than you. Yeah, go ahead. Go quiet to your mommy. Daddy, don't do that.
Fish it, lady. Well, guys, that will be the end of the video. And I'll see you next to another video. Because it will probably be until another year. But if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.